Yo, yo, what's up everyone? This is Kent Tanaka of Wish for Fish, giving you tips, bringing you on adventures, and taking you to the stream. I just got back from Minnesota, chasing muskie on the fly. And I just drove 1,200 miles, which is 17 and a half hours straight to Minnesota just to chase some muskie. Ever since I've left, I've been itching to catch muskie on the fly. So I hopped in the car, drove 17 and a half hours, and fulfilled my destiny. So I decided to tie my own fly, the Whiskey Blood Perch. Uh, the reason why I went with the perch pattern is because that's primarily what they're feeding on. And the reason why it's called the Whiskey Blood Perch is because during the live tying event, I drank a little too much whiskey and stabbed myself a couple times, bleeding all over the place. So the Whiskey Blood Perch was born. I was doing my nine foot, eight weight Douglas Sky, along with my Ross Evolution R Salt. As for the line and leader, I was using the Rio In Touch streamer tip and all also the Rio uh, Musky Pike. Now when I caught the fish, I was using the Rio In Touch streamer tip. Uh, this is a six IPS. Now I did enjoy throwing the Pike Musky, although this is a full sink line. Uh, waiting with a full sink line and trying to move around is a pain in the butt because it's just wrapped all around your feet. Uh, so I do suggest uh, trying the uh, streamer tip line. As for the leader, I was using the Seaguar Blue Label. This is a 40 pound fluoro. I went with a three foot section perfection loop to perfection loop. Um, I do recommend using a heavy fluoro just because they're very toothy and uh, fluoro is very abrasion resistant. Uh, if you're not going to use fluoro, I do suggest using maybe bite wire or something like that. Not only have I been itching for musky since I've left, but I've been dying to get back to the nook. I, I went there three times in a week and also took some to go so I could eat some when I got home. Needless to say, it was absolutely delicious. I highly recommend you going by there if you're ever in the Twin City area. So I caught this musky within 30 minutes of fishing. I thought it was gonna be a stellar week, but uh, I went there because it was the fall and the weather was gonna cool down. The big boys would come out and start feeding, but it was like a super crazy heat wave when I got there. Uh, matter of fact, they had record temperatures. I think it was like 92 degrees when I was there. So uh, wasn't quite uh, ideal for musky fishing. Matter of fact, it's a little dangerous to fish for musky when the water temperature is too warm. So I did go in the morning and the evening to prevent any kind of harm to the musky. But that really didn't matter considering I didn't catch any beside the one. I did catch one hell of a lunker largemouth on the same fly as well as my first smallie on the fly. But unfortunately there wasn't enough video to really put those in the video and it was all about the musky anyway. So hope you guys enjoy this short but sweet video and I'll see you on the water. Some bacon and caramelized onions. Mm. I think the thing that 
makes these burgers so delicious is they're using a hundred year old grill that just sears the goodness in there. Not only that, but you got hand cut fries. So here it is. This is my favorite burger. The guy's big bite. Oh. What a disaster. For ever in the Twin Cities area, I highly recommend them. What's up everyone? Thank you very much for watching. Please do go check out our website at wishforfish.com to keep up to date with what's going on with Wish for Fish, as well as get some killer discounts and check out the Wish for Fish store for some sweet merchandise. If you're on Facebook or Instagram or other forms of social media, give us a follow at Wish for Fish. Most importantly, if you haven't subscribed already, please do because we're constantly updating new footage all the time, so you can do so by clicking this right here. And if you're interested in seeing more, check out some of our other videos from this season's playlist. Thanks a lot everyone, and I'll see you guys in the water.